For this video, we'll be going over how to create relationships within your Hudu instance. So starting off, I'm going to navigate to my clients, Tesco, and I'm going to start off by using an employee as an example. So on our right side over here, we have our related items. And all I have to do is select new. And here we can see the items that we can relate to this asset entry. I can add another asset, article, password, or website. I can even connect another client. Now your documentation might be organized differently. This might be called company or division. It's all dependent on how you organize it. But regardless of title, this function will work the same. Starting off with asset, I'm going to use the QuickBooks application I have in here. This is a application that this person uses quite a bit, so I find it relevant. And I'm also going to note that they are the admin role. So I can hit save, and now I have this other asset entry connected. I can select QuickBooks, and here we are within that asset. Then you'll also notice that we have Josh Berry back on the side. When creating a relationship within Hudu, it automatically creates a two-way connection. So by connecting Josh Berry, I also connect QuickBooks back and forth without needing to do it twice. Now I'm navigating back. We can also decide if we want to add another item, or I can decide if I want to expand it beyond Tesco. So if I don't want to limit it, I uncheck this box. Now anything that I type in will be beyond just Tesco, and I can also include archived items. Now any item that is archived that has a relationship will not be broken, they will still be connected. Now while this example is within assets, we do have options of sharing between items. The categories that you see here can be connected in any order. This does not have to be at the asset level. Articles, passwords, websites, all have the option of the related items on their right hand bar. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask below the comments or Let's open up a ticket at support at hooja.com.